जहां तक आपने कोरोना वायरस की बात की तो ये सही है कि बहुत से लोग इसे लेकर बहुत चिंता में है thousands stuck on ships like this one off the coast of Japan the state department evacuating more than 800 people from Wuhan China and what seemed illogical Allison and just unthinkable a few days ago is now the reality so far at least 723 people have died worldwide the prime minister has ordered all businesses to shut down yesterday the death toll spiked to 827 dead Italy's health system is overrun this virus 900 people does not respect The German Wonders. Chancellor also warning of hard times ahead. Social media companies are now faced Tesla with another problem. Tesla tanking, NBA suspended, closing its borders. Hungary has declared a state Italy of emergency. The population has no immunity. This is the most aggressive and comprehensive as a pandemic. This is going to get worse. If anything kills over 10 million people in the next few decades, it's most likely to be a highly infectious virus. Guys, guys, guys. What the hell is happening around the world, man? When you look at the news, it definitely feels like you're watching the beginning of an apocalyptic movie. Uh, but then again, it's the news. Just generally speaking, man, like our our lives, our daily lives and work feels so insignificant and irrelevant in front of this huge thing that we all are dealing with at the moment. I hope uh, you guys are all exercising precautions you know and uh, following the directives given by the authorities uh, I don't I think uh, th this is something that's not to be taken uh, lightly and especially if you have elders at home I think uh, they need you now more than ever Now just like you guys when it comes to information I'm up to my neck it's just coming from every direction you know and I think as individuals right now it's very important for us to fact check each and every bit of information that's coming before you know we hit that forward button because you don't want to unnecessarily trigger panic in people's minds so i think that's very important i think uh, we should all stay at home avoid traveling you know and uh, we can use this time to spend some quality time with our families you know maybe read that book that you've been putting off learn to cook something new i think it's a very nice time to be creative and uh, honestly guys like it feels so weird to be putting a vlog out right now with, about the happy times on the mountains you know but uh, uh, life has to go on i guess uh, with a few minor adjustments in the coming months and uh, but more importantly i think uh, we all need to stay positive right now and uh, our vlogs have always been about that uh, so with that being said let's begin स्कूटर मेरा बाइक चलो पार्टी इसकी करेंगे कभी ये तो देख रहे हैं क्या कर रहे हैं ऐसे ना ऐसे पकड़ना ऐसे ऐसे फिर इसको धक्का दे देना जब खाली ऐसे आगे कवर्ड 
sheep wool everywhere. <laughs> Anyways, Whew. Namaste Ji, how's everybody doing? Welcome to season three of uh, Ronnie's vlogs. Season three, can we call it season three? You can call it what we want, Ronnie. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to season three. All right, firstly, I just want to apologize to all our viewers. I know I wasn't able to put out any vlogs during the month of January and February. A bunch of things happened. Uh, I was supposed to go to Kashmir, to Gulmarg for an entire month, uh, but the situation in Kashmir was, you know, slightly iffy and uh, that didn't happen and uh, more so my camera one day I was shooting something and it fell off my hand and my lens cracked like the glass inside my lens cracked so I had to take it to Delhi to a service center blah 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 their parts had to come from Singapore and uh, that took an entire month in the meantime I had to take up like a commercial project because I hadn't earned any money during these two months so I took up a nice little project and uh, you know you got to keep bringing that bacon home in our case more like bringing the dal roti home <laughs> Uh, now we are back and excited. Our calendar is packed till about June and uh, hopefully if this COVID-19 situation uh, takes care of itself, uh, we will keep getting you your regular dose of mountain love. Now, before I go any further, guys, I just wanted to announce that we have unlocked the next level on YouTube, which is the membership program, uh, which basically means that for a very small monthly subscription fee and by pressing this join button on our channel, you guys can now help support us in doing what we absolutely love, you know, so that we can keep bringing you the kind of content that you guys love. So the big question here is what were we doing this entire winter? Now uh, technically speaking this is our third winter like a full winter in Manali and uh, while the past two winters were really exciting and full of life this winter just felt like um, ah, I don't know man I was, I was hit by that winter blues that they all talk about you know for some reason this winter felt really really long and uh, you know extremely cold and to be honest that first time excitement that we all have that was just something which was missing I spent like most of my time just sitting inside in front of the fire staring into the fire looking out in, out the window you know at the gloomy skies and just waiting for those few sunny days in the middle and uh, I realized man like how much of a difference the sun actually makes on our moods and just just general motivation to go out there you know and do something you know I just did not want to go down that rabbit hole of watching content on my phone it's the easiest escape anyone can take um, instead I spent a whole lot of time making a lot of music this entire winter and if you guys wait till the end of the vlog I have a special presentation for you guys I think one of the most uh, exciting parts of this winter was the new craft beer brewery that opened in Manali. Now something like this, you know, when it happens in small towns, it's a pretty big thing. And uh, since I love beer, I had to go check it out here. Oh, nice guys. Guys, check this out. So I really thought somebody was joking that this thing is there. Okay, so the first one's a rum based beer. Actually, don't mind that. So the next one's called uh, the Goat Premium. Okay, not my taste. Okay, so this one is the wheat beer, wheat based beer. Mm, the wheat beer. This one is the one to go for. And finally, the apple cider. Not bad, not, I mean for Manali standards, come on man, my mind is blown. If we have a brewery in Manali, it's crazy. Cheers. 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 Manali basically has not seen beer. I mean the only beers you get over here are Dubok, Kingfisher, you know the general regular Thunderbolt, <laughs> Golden Eagle, Knockout. And finally we have a brewery with this view. I would say this is a very good addition to the lifestyle in Manali. So I also ended up going to Solang and uh, hitting the slopes a couple of times but uh, more interestingly I think was a trip to Sethan village. All right guys so I'm here with a bunch of friends high up in Sethan and uh, we thought it would be a really good idea to not waste this beautiful day and uh, come here and basically set up an outdoor kitchen and cook some meat chow. Whoever wants guys, it'll take five minutes to fry up. These for a data karke, but if you want to cut them see that, uh -huh. cut them see also. Yeah. Okay. 
And look at mine, look at mine. I'm a weak man, weak man. See his, see his mustache. Yeah, that's a real man. Show the chest also on your head. Show the chest. Hair, chest but so head. much hair. Nobody's impressed only. I know. Like, No, oh, something about raw meat, you know, like not fully raw, but like slightly raw. Medium rare. Medium rare. Mm. <laughs> so much better than those jumps. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, gee. So guys, 2020. What's the plan? Um, Bati and I have this year taken like a solemn resolve that uh, we're going to work much harder and looking at your reactions like, you know, from the comments and I really feel we need to pick up our game now. And uh, this year, for some reason, we are feeling it from inside, you know, to really push ourselves. And even with my music, man, like I just want to take it a notch higher and bring you guys a whole lot of more music. So uh, with that being said, guys, uh, let's take you guys to the studio now. Okay, guys, welcome to my grieb little studio. <laughs> There's nothing much of it except a bed, a couple of instruments and a laptop. <laughs> so uh, this one's uh, a love song I wrote a uh, long time back. So. Uh, Let's begin. Time. 
Thank you, guys. Just want to say, be responsible, stay safe, and uh, we need all the positivity we need, we can get during these times. So, yeah, see you next time. Oh, 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 oh,